is Anna and I'm at the Errol Douglas Salon in Knightsbury. Today I'm going to be showing you some looks for Royal Ascot. Um, involving hats, we're going to be doing a classic look first. So I'm going to show you in four easy steps how to recreate this look. The look we're going for today is a look that's going to work with a classic hat, which is more the more favourable that you find at Ascot. Hats, my recommendation would be to go for quite a long flowing look because classic hats tend to be quite full. So, we're going to give you four steps on how to do that process to make sure that the hair lasts all day. Prep number one is about your products, so using products that prevent frizz and to give you hold. So, a nice blow dry balm or a mousse is perfect to use on wet hair. And then, as we've done for you, you either blow dry it and set it on rollers, or as we've done, we've sort of wrapped it up and pin curled it just to hold in that shape to help it to last through the whole day. And your hair's naturally quite straight, so this has taken really nice for Okay, so the key thing to do is, as you're removing your rollers, or loosening the hair out, just take your comb and start gently pushing about two inches back from the roots, and start to press in your back combing as you go in. It's easier for you to do this as you're removing each section, so you can build the shape as you go. And take your time. Good back combing, you just slowly. At this stage as well, don't worry if the roots look a little bit messy because we're going to smooth all of this through afterwards. So we start to smooth over your roots. With your brush, just have a light touch. So when you've smoothed over through the top now with this look, we're bringing the brush down to the bottom. Because this is quite a luxurious flowing look, you don't want the ringlets to be too individual and just smooth that over the surface. If you want luxurious hair, it's got to be shiny hair as well. And make sure you work that right to the ends of the hair, because often if you are out and about in the fresh air, any little bit of wind, you don't want it to spoil the effect of your blow dry. So now is the time for the hat. When you're looking at your hats, generally speaking hats now come with two attachments. You either have a soft elastic, which we have here, or you'll have an Alice band. The key with this is it needs to be concealed within your hair. So the easiest way to do this is to section off the front area, so either side of the back of the ear, and section that completely out of the way. We position the hat in, hold that hat nice and steady there, and then we bring the band out and gather the loose hair in a ponytail and just pull that through. So the band then rests underneath at the nape of the neck. And then you can just dress it lightly with your fingertips. And then to get the angle right, we just lift slightly to tilt the hat to where it sits. But that should feel nice and firm for you, yeah? Perfect. So once the hat is in, the key at this point then is to make sure that any side of the band is gone. So we just go back to brushing, and then on this side now we can bring through and form this onto the other side and complete. So the races are finished, now is the time to remove the hat. With this sort of look, it's very, very simple. So what you need to do is rest your head just slightly forwards and reach in and just feel where the elastic is at the underneath of your hair. Place one finger in the elastic and then take your thumb underneath the back of the hat, lift it up from the head and slide it back and away. At this point now, it's a case of just making the hair see you through to the evening.